Well, good morning, everybody. It is Friday, June 30th. I'm Maggie Flecno, and this is Houston Happens. We are starting your holiday weekend off with a bang. Just call me Little Miss Firecracker, right? We actually have a preview of the official H-Town 4th of July celebration. Plus, before you fire up the grill, Big Papa Sterling is back with his infamous baby back ribs. That and more is headed your way. So what do you say? Let's get this show started as always with today's top talkers and you guys I have been keeping this a secret which if you know me is very hard for me to do so on the heels of Pat Sajak's retirement the National Bobblehead Hall of Fame and Museum yes there's such a thing and it's in Milwaukee actually unveiled the first officially licensed limited edition bobbleheads of Wheel of Fortune stars Pat Sajak and Vanna White and guess what the CEO he reached out to me and he sent them to me. Should we do a reveal? Very dramatic. Maybe I'll do kind of like my Vanna. Well, there she is. Look at this. Her head really bobbles and Pat's bobbles and you can spin the wheel. Can, can you tell I'm very excited about this? So Pat's bobblehead features a spinning wheel while Vanna's bobblehead features the iconic puzzle board in the background. Each bobblehead is individually numbered to 2022 and they are available through the National Bobblehead Hall of Fame and Museums online store. We'll have this linked over on our website. Now the first production run of the bobbleheads is in stock. They're each 40 bucks or you could get the pair because I mean you have to have Pat and Vanna and it's $75. But yeah, how fun is this? You could actually play Wheel of Fortune at home. Yeah, it's kind of like Barbie. Maybe May and I will play this weekend. All right. So maybe this next woman, she should get her own bobblehead after her close encounter with a shark. Check this out. So here you see a Fort Lauderdale woman. She actually had a close encounter with a hammerhead shark while in the middle of a long distance paddleboard trip for charity. Malaya Tribble was part of a group paddleboarding from the Bahamas to the Lake Worth Pier during an event called the Crossing for Cystic Fibrosis, bringing awareness to the disease and raising money for research. Well, she said they were about halfway through the trip when another guest joined their group. That would be the shark. Now, the video shows Tribble remaining calm the entire time. She said she was just focusing on maintaining her balance. Cause could you imagine if she lost him, went into the water and getting to the boat and away from the shark? She took a brief break and then she got right back in the water. I can't say I would do the same. I mean, Ido, what do you think about this video? What would you do if there was a shark right by your paddleboard? I would, first of all, scream at the top of my lungs. Girl. <laughs> Me too. Uh, oh, is your mic not on? Yes, it is, Lou. How dare you? Ido. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was off. Ido. So what would you do? Turn on your microphone. <laughs> it is on, and like I said, I would scream like a little girl because there's a shark, but then I'd be like, oh, you know what? It's probably a nice shark, so I'm going to try to pet it. What? Uh, why not? Like, oh my gosh, I can't with you. You're too much. <laughs> but I did learn at the shark exhibit at the museum mm -hmm. that actually sharks are more scared of us. So yes. So probably trying to make friends. Yeah. Yeah. Go to the shark exhibit if you want shameless plug for Houston happens if you want to see it I have a preview on our website cw39.com and it was so much fun you made it look like so much fun everybody does need to go down to the Natural Science Museum and check it out yeah May loved it she has really? a stuffed animal shark that they gave us oh, she absolutely, it's her favorite thing of all things it's as big as she is yeah and she's just a few months old right yep yeah Yep. Awesome. So my eight year olds are going to totally dig it. They will. Now, are we going to dig the weather, though, especially 4th of July? I want to make sure I get a pool day and fireworks. I mean, I'm not asking. Hmm. OK, so it depends on when you're going to hit the pool. OK, because in the afternoon with the heating and then the sea breeze, we do have a chance of seeing some showers developing. Okay. But that should kind of go away as we head into the evening hour. So the actual like big show. Yeah, there's just a slight chance of maybe seeing something, but it's not a complete washout. Okay. But I do want to touch on the heat. Check this out for the 4th of July. Hey, temperatures dropping into the upper 90s for our area and wherever you're going for this 4th of July, it's going to be pretty warm unless you're heading to Montana. Billings 54 for your high on the 4th of July. Everywhere else we just have the red and oranges mean temperatures are going to be in the 90s, even into the hundreds if you're heading out to Arizona Phoenix. 
6 on Tuesday, 4th of July, looking like it may be close to 108 degrees. But the one thing that they don't have in the southwest is our humidity, and we definitely are going to be dealing with that again today. Here's a look at the heat alerts. Our heat index close to 111 degrees today. That's why we still have this heat advisory. Day 18. More than half of this month has now been under this heat dome, and we've been seeing these heat alerts. For our highs today, check that out. Upper 90s, and then you factor in the humidity. Ugh, back to those triple digits. 107 is what it's going to feel like this afternoon, Maggie. All right, the heat is definitely on, but I'm really excited. Because it's going to be a great forecast for the 4th of July, and it wouldn't be the 4th without Houston's official 4th of July celebration, Shell Freedom Over Texas. And joining me to talk more about the iconic event is Susan Christian, director of the Mayor's Office of Special Events and producer of this big event. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I know you're so busy. So thank you for taking time to celebrate. We have a preview of past years. Exactly. So tell us a little bit about what we can expect this year. Well, you know, uh, Shell Freedom Over Texas is a great place for Houstonians to come to celebrate America, to give honor and thanks to all of our military. We have a, all five branches there on site, both veterans and active military. So go by and say thanks, you know. Uh, but also we have four entertainment stages. We have incredible on the main stage is Chris Young. We have Yola. If you've not listened to her music, listen to her. She's amazing. Both of uh, award winners. We have TMF, the Maze Factor, uh, with, with the new front singer, who is Chris Walker, right here from Houston, Texas. Uh, has been singing, you know, for several decades, uh, but just an incredible performer. Uh, and then we have local and regional talent, both there on the main stage. Dr. Pepper stage fe features country music, Zydeco, uh, Cupid will close out that stage. Oh my gosh. And then we have incredible uh, children performing to children. And uh, that's at the Dick Sporting Goods all-American Kids Zone, and in fact, we've totally revamped that particular zone. Exciting stuff, trains, things to ride on, games to play, Dick Sporting Goods, a brand new sponsor for us. So your kids will want to come there. And in fact, we've also extended the age uh, range for those games. So really something fun for everyone. We have NASA uh, who will be joining us uh, in Liberty Park. And that's uh, along with all of our military branches. Bud Light, Bud Light has brought in two different zones for us. Uh, one of them is the Bud Light Biobash, mm -hmm. which is a great place to just chill out, listen to the main stage. It's kind of a beach theme, great place to watch the fireworks. And then they brought in a touring exhibit, which is the Bud Light Playground. Oh, so indeed. that's going to be fun, this right? This is amazing. And here's the great thing. Admission's only $10. Kids, they're free. We actually have a full screen of all of the information right. and where exactly to go. So where's the best spot, would you say, to watch the fireworks? I mean, it, you, you know, know actually at Eleanor Sinsley Park. Just come on down, bring the kids. To your point, $10, children five and under get in free. Everything is free once you get there, except for buying food and beverage. So the value on this is remarkable. It's some, you know truly something for everyone. Great genres, mix of music, uh, and lots of activities, lots of fun, uh, and some really new assets that you're gonna wanna see. And you know what I love is we all come together and to celebrate America together and Houston. So what's your favorite part about this event? Fireworks, baby. <laughs> You know, uh, we all grew up celebrating, right? right. Uh, you know, I grew up in a, a small town in north central Texas uh, and, you know, got together with family and the community and friends and we ate and just really, you know, kind of fellowshiped and have a gr had a great time. But at the end of the night, after the fish fry, after the watermelon, it was all about fireworks. And we have one of the most spectacular fireworks shows in America. Yes. And so I'm very proud. You know, we have a great producer, uh, internationally acclaimed producer of our fireworks, uh, which is Pyrotechnico, and uh, they never disappoint. We have, uh, it'll, it'll be the longest fireworks show that we've had uh, ever since I've been producing this event, which has been quite some time. <laughs> the details over on our website cw39.com thank you so much for taking time to speak with us and happy fourth of july my friend come by and see us at shell freedom over will. texas thank you and stay tuned we have plenty of houston happens after the break
I came out with my pants unbuttoned. So you trying to get me put off television? <laughs> Judge Mathis. You got the real deal. Next on CW39 Houston. The only way Papa John's makes a big, extra-large New York-style pizza like this is by hand-stretching that Papa John's fresh, never-frozen dough. Get the extra-large New York-style pizza from Papa John's. CW39 will take you on an unforgettable vacation. The destination, Texas. Experience rich culture and breathtaking terrain. Watch Destination Texas, Saturday at 5 on CW39. Brought to you by these sponsors. You are telling the truth. <laughs> Separate fact from fiction. You are the father. <laughs> he can see the Maury truth. Maury, today at 1 on CW39 Houston. Most people wouldn't hitch a ride with a stranger. Sometimes convenience comes at a price, but the cost should never be your safety. What do you know about your driver? Do you trust him to get you home safely? Do you trust him with your life? 91% of Americans believe that there should be mandatory rules and regulations for drivers of ride-hailing apps. Know your rights. Make the right call when it comes to your safety. 83% of Americans believe that drivers of ride-hailing apps should undergo criminal background checks and should have to pass regular drug testing. All drivers should be properly screened, licensed, and trained. Don't put your safety your privacy, or your life at risk. Inform yourself about the hazards of digital hitchhiking. Arm yourself with the necessary tools to ride responsibly. Do your research and think before you act. Visit rideresponsibly.org. with better. Like our fresh, never frozen dough made from six simple ingredients. And our dough can save you dough. Get two or more Papa Pairing's favorites for just $6.99 each. Order now on the app from Papa John's. Welcome back. Well, for those traveling out of town this weekend, we have something for you. Unique apps to know. Rich Jamiro has some suggestions in today's Tech Smart. <laughs> Summer is synonymous with travel, and if you're heading to a new destination, why not make it your wallpaper? Atlas is an app that lets you create unique wallpapers based on a location. Search for a city, position it just right, then choose a style. You can create wallpapers for your phone, watch, or computer. Atlas is free for iOS. Cartogram is an Android alternative for $2. On the go and need to go? Check out Flush, a free app that helps you find public restrooms from a database of over 200,000 of them. Filter by fee, key, or disabled access. The results aren't always perfect, but Flush can be helpful, and it's free on iOS and Android. Curious what the name of that mountain is? Check out Peak Finder. The app identifies over 1 million mountaintops around the world, and it works offline. Just aim to identify. You can even use it in augmented reality mode and save photos with peak names right on top. Peak Finder is available for iOS and Android for a one-time fee of $5. Finally, if you find yourself in a new city, why not use your phone for a self-guided audio walking tour? Welcome to the historical walking tour. I used Voice Map in Austin and was super impressed with the results. You can either use this time to stretch or jog on the spot if you like. The building in front of you is the Austin City Hall. They have tours for hundreds of destinations worldwide, mostly produced by local storytellers. Tours cost just several dollars each. Audio highlights are triggered by GPS as you follow a map. Definitely going to check that out. Well, Brad Gilmore is now here with his weekly CW39 Spotlight, this time with Ashley Amani and her new single. Check it out. 
Ashley Imani, the former Houston, Texas resident, now turned social media superstar thanks to her viral videos and even got the attention of Usher, is back with a brand new single called Sippin'. And we put Ashley Imani in the spotlight. And why this record, Sippin'? Why was this the record to put out and let people know, like, kind of what is Sippin'? Like, what's the song about if you had to encapsulate it in a definition? Honestly, I'm just talking my trash on Sippin'. I love the song, you know, by 3 Six Mafia. So I was like, when I heard the beat, I heard that melody, and then we kind of built from there. Um, but I chose, I didn't even really choose this song alone. It was a collective decision. Um, I actually had like listening sessions and everything and kind of had, I had people like kind of vote for their favorite song. And I have so many great songs that it was kind of like tug of war. Like some people like a different song. Some people like this song, but I felt like this one is strong. It was strong to like come back out like, boom, I'm here. This is what I do. And then I can start taking them down that journey and that road. And now they can start seeing like how versatile I am and what different type of music I make. But I felt like this song is relevant to the time right now. And I feel like it just jam, like, you know. We want to thank Ashley Imani for joining us on this edition of the CW39 Spotlight. She's actually going to be back next week to talk about more of her incredible career. But until next time, I'm Brad Gilmore, CW39 Houston. Well, as you all know, the 4th of July is nearly here and a lot of you will be firing up the grill. Well, our next guest is a real firecracker at the pit, Sterling Big Papa. He is actually back with his Tyson baby back ribs. Hi, Big Papa here from Big Papa Smokers. I've got some Tyson extra meaty baby back ribs. These things are so tender and so great. What I like to look for is nice thickness. I like even and I like to see these little white lines here. That's styration or marbling, and that adds to the flavor. So what we're going to do, we're going to open this pop. We're going to pull the membrane off. We're going to season it, and then we're going to cook a nice traditional barbecue rib. And we're ready to cook. So sweet money on it. Sweet money's won more championships than anything, world championships than any other rub. You notice I'm not using mustard as a glue. A lot of people use mustard as a glue. I think it's really unnecessary. I think what you need is you want to put the rub on, you want to let it sit, and you want to let it well, call what I call shine. So here we go. Don't be afraid to use a lot of rub. This is going to go on the cooker for about an hour and a half at 275. And then we're going to put in some foil with some butter brown sugar, and we're gonna be ready to sauce it up and serve it. So here we go. We foil them when they get this beautiful mahogany color, or about 165 internal temperature. A little brown sugar. This is gonna surprise all of you. We're gonna start with a little parquet. Why parquet? Well, it gives you some moisture, and it gives you a little butter flavor, but it's got a higher burn point and smoke point, so your ribs uh, will come out looking much better and you won't burn the butter. So just put a little honey here. Flip them over, brown sugar. These will be on the cooker about an hour to an hour and a half. I got a feel for these things. I think the baby backs are done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, I can already tell. See how they're flexing? Okay, we're going to take the foil, but we're going to be very carefully... Pour the foil juice into another pan. This is a nice little pro tip because this tastes good. It's delicious Tyson pork juice. It's a parquet, believe it or not. Brown sugar. Sort of proud of these things. Granny sauce. Big Papa's granny sauce. A wonderful man owns this. When they say extra meaty at these Tyson ribs, they're not lying. 
Have you ever heard of the word proud papa? Let's see how these bad boys taste. Hold on. Remember I got that juice here? Let's come back about 10 minutes. There won't be any rib left, but I got them. This is a paid advertisement for legal services. 18 wheelers, 80,000 pounds at over 65 miles an hour can cause serious and deadly crashes. On I-10, I-45, and other Texas roadways, when big trucks don't follow the rules, they put you in danger. If you or a loved one was hurt in a tragic crash, call board certified lawyer and former judge Terry Bryant, 713-973-8888. Don't even think about it. What? It says I've got a little money, but I'm not a corporate drone. No, it says I'm pushing 40 and I can't deal with it. Two and a half men, tonight at 10 and 10.30 on CW39 Houston. Thank you. When it comes to making plans, you are the best. Those nine months were also 273 days of planning. What about your daughter's first costume party? It was out of this world. And let's not forget those barbecues you plan in detail for your family and your more vegetarian by the day best friends. That surprise party for your parents' golden anniversary? You get the golden planning. The same way you plan each detail for those moments, start planning to protect you and your loved ones from a natural disaster. Sign up for local weather and emergency alerts. Prepare an emergency kit and make a family communications plan. Protecting your family is the best plan you can make. tomorrow and it's hot out there so you know we're all blasting that AC especially with the 4th of July but here's the thing we don't want you to be blasted with a high electricity bill thankfully our friends at Power Wizard are here when I think of Power Wizard and electricity companies and rates I kind of think of you guys as our matchmakers mm -hmm. finding us the best plan for our lifestyle like the perfect match and of course our good friends of the show we have Tatiana and Christine back with more ladies always a pleasure having you on yeah, Thank always you. good to see you so I love this because like I said you know the right fit for us in our lifestyle so tell us a little bit about how you find the right match for us Ah, yeah, there are so many different electricity plans out there. How do you know what's the right one for you? And we used to like the 12 months plans, then the winter storm hit, okay. rates was, went up very high, and your best bet was the 24, the 36 months plans. Now we're back to 12 months plan. So there's a strategy behind uh, shopping for electricity. Right, and you know what I love about you all is that we can actually have a conversation and you listen to our needs. Yes. Right? Like relationships. So if I call you and I say, I'm only going to be here six months, tell me about what you guys would do for us. Yeah, we can shop for you um, and find either a six month plan or a three month plan. Really just depends on what you're looking for. Um, our agents take all of that into account. If you don't love the plan that we originally are looking at, then you can always change that as well. And let's talk about rates. How are rates right now and is now the time to act? 
Absolutely, you should. If you are on a variable rate right now, you don't want to be on a variable rate. You want to be on a locked in contract rate. If you're up for renewal, your contract is about to expire, now is the time to do it. Um, in 30 days or even August, the rates go up really high. So you got to lock in now. And 12 months rates are, again, like I said before, very reasonable. Probably what nine, ten cents. Yeah. Okay. So don't fall for twelve cents, thirteen cents. It's it's you can get a good one for a good rate, good plan for nine to ten cents. Right. And commit to twelve yes. months. Mm -hmm. So that's a good idea to do. Yes. And when you're finding us these plans, you take a lot into consideration. Tell me a little bit about the process. Yeah, we have a special tool and that runs, uh, we take your usage under account and then we run our tool, find the best plan for you. We're not getting paid by any electric provider. Our uh, customers are members, so they pay us a membership fee. It's a fraction of what they're saving, um, us finding them the best plan. And you know what's great? Like a matchmaker, you can also break up with somebody, right? Yeah, and it's right. hassle-free, no sweat off of us, right? No, yeah. We enroll our customers, then we know uh, when the contract expires, we renew them again. They call us uh, if they have questions. Um, for the REP, we take the call, electric provider, we take the call and handle it on their behalf. Well, I don't know about you, but I would sit back, call Power Wizard and crank up that AC because I know I am in good hands and they'll find me the perfect match. As always, ladies, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Well, that's nearly a wrap on today's show. Before we go, here's a look at today's sponsored content. And I'm going to be off until next Thursday, so I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and happy early 4th of July. Ida will be filling in and she will see you on Monday morning, same place, same time for more Houston Happens. If you want to catch up with any of our guests from today's show or past shows, just go over to our website, CW39.com and click on the Houston Happens tab. In the meantime, bye for now. Have a great 4th and weekend, everybody.